Science with and for society, rationale and history. Why does the relationship between science and society matter? Science and society are intimately connected today more than ever. Science is not only useful, it can be vital in certain cases. Humanity can do amazing things thanks to science and technology, such as sending objects on another planet or beyond our solar system. We are more knowledgeable of our universe than ever before. Nevertheless, scientific practices and outcomes are also raising questions. Are we provoking cataclysmic changes in the Earth climate? Are we transforming our human nature? Are we poisoning ourselves and our environment? Are we endangering our fundamental freedoms and values? These are important questions that cannot be disregarded. If we want to have answers to these questions, we must face and learn to tackle a certain complexity. What is science and society about? This cloud of words that is appearing in front of your eyes is a good illustration of the complexity we face. This complexity of the relationship between science and society derives not only from the variety of situations due to the pervasiveness of science and technology in society. It derives also from the multiple and often conflicting perspectives of various stakeholders, their interests, needs and values. How can we face and deal with this complexity in order to efficiently tackle the issues important to humanity? In the year 2000, the European Commission gathered reflections and activities in relation to science and society under a single programme entitled Science and Society. The programme was funded under the Sixth Framework Programme with a budget of €80 million. Euros. It was further continued and strengthened under the Seventh Framework Programme with a name change to Science in Society, benefiting from a budget of €330 million. Euros. Thanks to the ongoing financing, the European Commission launched hundreds of projects and initiatives including research, coordination, support actions, conferences, seminars and expert groups. Who participated to Science and Society and Science in Society? One of the greatest successes of the two programmes is the fact that a great variety of stakeholders and communities joined forces to participate in our activities. Universities and higher education establishments, research and innovation funding and performing organisations, civil society organisations and NGOs, business, policy makers, professors, teachers, students and pupils, science museums and science centres, and what is even more successful is the fact that many have been working together across disciplines and boundaries. We have broken walls and with the rumbles we have built bridges. What are the key learnings from all these activities? The Science With and For Society programme for 2014-2015 is based on three key learnings from previous framework programmes. These three key learnings appearing now can also be expressed in plain language. 1. Science communications efforts will not be enough to fight climate change, poverty and unemployment. 2. Some key solutions are not necessarily technological, but can be social. Behaviour is part of the problem as well as part of the solution. And ideas can stem from everywhere. 3. In order not to be trapped into a single track or dead end, better ensure that innovation is viable from a societal point of view. If you wish to apply for a Science With and For Society grant, these are some important issues to be aware of. Many of the projects supported by the programmes can be considered success stories because they have given the possibility to thousands of people to reconsider their own activities in the context of a science and society relationship. This is the case for fisheries and broader issues related to seas and coastal areas, science education in its relation to industry and economic growth, the gender dimension in research and innovation, and researchers in synthetic biology, just to name a few. Today, Via Part 5 of Horizon 2020, 
the European Commission is pursuing the task of better understanding and strengthening the relationship between science and society through the new programme entitled Science with and for Society. As indicated in the description given in the decision adopting the specific programme of Horizon 2020, its aim is to build effective cooperation between science and society, to recruit new talent for science, and to pair scientific excellence with social awareness and responsibility. Science with and for society is made out of eight lines. One, careers. Two, gender. Three, engagement. Four, education. Five, open access. Six, governance and ethics. Seven, precaution. And eight, science communication. Science with and for society has a budget of 462.2 million euros for the seven years of Horizon 2020. If you wish to apply for a grant, you need to demonstrate that you understand not only the rationale behind science and society, but also the political context that prevails at European level. Research and Innovation Policy supports Europe 2020, which outlines the orientations defined by President Barroso at the beginning of its second term. Growth and jobs are two of the most important priorities of the European Commission. In support of Europe 2020, a number of flagships initiatives were launched, one of which is entitled the Innovation Union. The Innovation Union sets out the policy framework for Horizon 2020 in combination with the commitment to achieve the European research area. We cannot but invite you to read these important orientation documents prior to applying for any grants through our calls for proposals under Science with and for Society. Furthermore, before watching the module B dedicated to the Science with and for Society calls, it is important to understand how responsible research and innovation fits into the picture. Responsible research and innovation is directly derived from the key learnings of previous science and society activities. Responsible research and innovation is a package to be implemented across Horizon 2020 that will enable the various Horizon 2020 pillars and societal changes to effectively integrate societal elements connected science with society. This package includes public engagement, gender, ethics, science education and open access. You can find more information about responsible research and innovation in Module D of the presentation. Thank you for attending Module A on the rationale and history of science with and for society.